Welcome to video 181 in series 3, and now I'll do some waypoints and just show you a little bit on factions. And this should be the last video in chapter 9. Alright, so it's I guess it's time to have just a little bit of fun with this, and I'm thinking, uh, I was just thinking about how to do it, and I think I might just make a third faction which is an evil max, who's an enemy to both you and the golems, so everyone will attack them and they'll attack everyone, and I'll give them some waypoints to travel around the map. So what I'll do is to duplicate the range one, break the prefab instance, I just make that active, and I'm going to call it Evil uh, Max. And we need to uh, make a few changes, so let me just move them over like so or something out of the way. All right, and uh, drop him in as a prefab, it's an NPC, there we go, all right. Now I'm going to uh, add in a new tag, and I'm going to call that Evil Max. And then also in the layers, add a new layer, Evil Max again. All right, and then uh, inside of the uh, site layers, yep, we need to change that. So I will just put it to everything, and then turn off Evil Max and ignore Raycast, so he doesn't. Uh, you, his own uh, allies won't block his vision. Now his enemy layers, uh, no, not evil Max. His enemy layers are friendly and player. Okay, and his uh, friendly layers, no, not those two. I'll just set it to nothing and then turn on evil Max. Now if you if you did leave it to nothing, he would probably attack his own as well. Uh, okay, enemy tags. He's got uh, three enemy tags. What about friendly tags? So you'll only have one. Okay, let's go ahead and set that. So that's friendly. And also player. And his friendly tags are, well, evil max. All right, so that's not the only thing. We've got to go through and change his tag and his layer. Just that object only. Expand it out. Go to the head of the character, and there too we must change that to evil max. All right, uh, and then going down to his hitbox there as well, change it to evil max. Good, and his gun as well. Just remember the layers to avoid. We have to change that. So let's put it to nothing, and then set it to evil max, so he won't friendly fire his own. Uh, right, so that should do it. I'll just hit apply. Now, as for our previous guy, I'll just activate him. And uh, he needs to know that this is now an enemy. All right, so good. He's got the uh, layer evil max assigned. And I'll just increase his enemy tags so that he's got evil max there. Good. And I guess that's it. So let's see what happens when we play. Will they shoot at each other? Well, yeah, they are actually shooting at each other. Oh, looks like uh, our max won. Okay, that's good. Uh, what about the golems? So let's uh, edit them as well. Uh, so my prefabs, the NPC, enemy golem, uh, and let me just hit apply there in case I forgot. Now the enemy golem as well. Good, he's got the enemy evil max, and just give him the uh, tag as well to uh, set. Okay, so evil max as well is an enemy tag. Hit apply, and I can just delete him from the scene. That's all good. Maybe I should turn Max around, the evil Max, so he has a fighting chance. And now it could go either way. So who will he see first? Oh, oh well, looks like he lost first. Uh, well, he got shot. Too bad. Right, so now what we'll do is um, we'll take these evil Max, take him, put him somewhere else. Say we'll put him not too far from the golems. So he uh, does see them. Okay, good. That's uh, probably a good location. And I think what I'll do now is just make a empty game object. I will call it waypoints. Oh, whoops. I'm not typing anything there. There we go. Waypoints. And I'll just reset that uh, position. And then I'll just uh, make a duplicate of that. And I'll just call this one waypoint. And actually move. They make this a child. And just move this one around. And I might just uh, lift that up so it isn't actually in the floor. 
probably doesn't matter, but anyhow, let's put it like 0.5. Okay, so their first waypoint will be thereabouts. Then I'll make a duplicate, set it over there, make another duplicate, set it over there. And actually, I realized something. I should actually set Evil Max away, otherwise he may start getting into a fight, and we won't get to see the uh, waypoint in action. So I'll just move this waypoint over here, bring back the other one, bring it about over there. Uh, we can actually uh, add a uh, color to them as well, so we can see them better. Kind of useful for this uh, as well, an icon. Good. And I'll just set that one back there. Okay, and just drag this one here. Okay, so now he's got five waypoints, which is good. And I will uh, assign that. So on his NPC state pattern script, he's got here this drop down for waypoints. Pretty sure I can just drag all of, well, drag all of them on. So on, on, let me just lock that right there. And then select all of these and drag them onto his uh, waypoints. There we go. And now he's got all his waypoints assigned. And uh, perfect time to just make lots of duplicates. I can unlock that. And make an army of evil maxes. Who will actually be quite deadly. And we will probably need another ally as well, because we won't hold up very well against that lot. Okay, save. And probably our allies are, probably they need to move a little bit further away, uh, because they're probably going to get into a fight very quickly. And maybe it's best that doesn't happen. So we watch from a distance. All right, let's jump in, see what's going on. Right, now what are these guys doing? And oops, uh, they all are actually uh, moving towards the player. Uh, so that's a mistake. And somehow I must have forgotten to delete the player transform from their follow uh, target position. Uh, follow target, oops, that's a bit of a mistake. All right, so done that. Now let's uh, jump back in. And let's see that happen again. All right, good. So they are actually patrolling. They are actually proceeding to their waypoint as well. Probably pick up a gun. Good. And actually, they were proceeding to their next waypoint, but they've sighted the golems. They're about to engage. So let's watch that and have oh, and our guys run off too to get into the fight. And actually, this could be quite interesting. So one golem is going to go towards our guys, and the other golems are going to go towards these guys. All right, so we can see that uh, in happen. Wow, that was that was actually really quick. They really wasted the golems. Uh, I think we may have a bit of a problem. In fact, as a player, it may be a good time to uh, get out of the way. And it looks like three of them are pursuing us. And uh, probably our guys will want to get in the fight as well. Yep, so three of them are pursuing. One of our guys is dead. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, I can shoot the barrel. That made two of them flee. Whoa, that was really effective. Those guys took out all of the golems while we've been busy with this other guy. All right, so this guy has moved into uh, range attack. Whoa, <laughs> that was game over. So his shooting is really good. That's because he's got the same accuracy as our uh, NPC ally, so he doesn't really miss once he's locked on. Well, he misses a little bit if you're moving, but I was pretty much a sitting duck, and so he easily got so that is a deadly NPC. Well, so as you can see, the system is pretty much working. We can make it a lot easier for ourselves. We can make them uh, dumber. So we'll increase the detection count to like, say, 15. That makes them really dumb. 
and uh, we can reduce their sight range to 60 we can reduce their attack range to like 35 uh, we can also uh, increase their attack spread to like 0.3 so they're really inaccurate and just leave it the attack rate high and now it will be a much easier uh, fight uh, for us and whoops our guys gone off to fight against the golems and in the meantime uh, these guys are also going towards the golems and this is probably not going to end very well for our allies because they've gotten too busy uh, fighting here they're too focused yep they're too focused on the golems and uh, looks like they're coming towards us whoa okay yeah so they're really dangerous when you've got four of them like that all coming for you and they just start opening fire end of story and also i've put the uh, damage pretty high on them as well so even with those settings they were difficult well this is pretty challenging nope i'm gonna jump in having a bit of fun sorry okay this time i'm gonna get them of course i could just shoot them from here being the human player it would be a lot easier oh how about i get inside the hut and shoot them from the hut ha 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 so yeah that's pretty silly too what are our guys doing anyway Ah, oh, right, they're shooting at the golems. And they're now getting shot. And uh, it looks like they're, those guys are busy taking out the uh, golems, which is pretty good. Now, if I shoot one of them... Hmm, it looks like they're still going for the golem. What if I shoot another one? All right, now I believe they're going to investigate. What was that? So I've just shot one of them. Yep, that's it. They're in the investigate harm state now. Now they're really, uh, they know something's not right. And they're coming towards whatever it was uh, that was causing the problem. Uh, what can I do to fix this situation? Nothing better than an exploding barrel. Okay, I will grab that. I will, uh, oops, I think I didn't think this one out very properly. <laughs> no. So perhaps I may be able to defeat them, maybe not. If I run around uh, wildly enough, that it, I'll probably be able to beat them. Ah, didn't. Too bad. Too sad. What happened was the uh, another guy got me from pretty much uh, from the side that I didn't even know about. So I was so focused on those guys that another guy just happened to be going along his waypoints and shot me in the back, more or less. Oh well, too bad. So I guess all that's proven is that I'm pretty hopeless at my own games. And I guess that wraps it up. So anyway, thank you very much for watching Chapter 9. That's it. So you've gone through, you've made your whole NPC system now. Uh, it is pretty bare bones. It is pretty basic. Uh, it can do with a huge number of improvements. But as you've seen, like, you can already start to have a bit of fun with it, with uh, like a very simple style of FPS gameplay. You can actually have a bit of fun with these NPCs. You can have factions. You can have waypoints, or they just wander around. And they're, they're pretty stupid, but still they are, they're, they're, they're just smart enough to actually, uh, go and investigate what's going on when one of them gets shot, for example. You could do things like, there are also things you can do to improve it. For example, like the allies, sometimes I, I wish I could press, press a button and tell them, no, just follow me. Don't go off and change your state from the follow state until you receive, uh, instructions to do so. So like, that's just an example of something that could be improved. But anyway, that's it. That is it for chapter 9. You have done extremely well by making it this far into the series. That really is quite incredible. I mean, this is uh, past video 180. is like video 181 now. So really congratulations on making it this far and having uh, learned so much. I'm sure you can see now, if you started all the way from the beginning, I'm sure you can see that uh, your uh, knowledge level has increased quite a lot, or at least you've seen a different way of how you could do things uh, as well and benefited from it. Anyway, so once again, I'll say uh, thank you very much for uh, watching all the way up to this point, and I hope to see you in the future.